Hi guys, today, another big video. In today's video, I am gonna show y'all how to make an admin abuse panel like grow a garden, and this model is way better. Then my other video, so the video might be a long video, make sure to watch till the end to understand fully about the model. Okay, so like always, join my Discord to get the model link. After that, drag the model in. Okay, so first thing, put this file into replicated storage. And right click it, then press ungroup. For the other, put them in their place like I did. Okay, this is where the video might get a bit challenging, so make sure to listen carefully. First, make sure to change the Danny Algamer one to your username, guys, not display name username. You can also change these if you want. Okay, so this is how you can change the event's name, icon, Also, you can change can collide, which mean if the objects collide with stuff, and you can make them spin. Also, this range is basically the size of the spawn area. So it's like the place that the thing will spawn at the more number, the larger the place is. Okay, now let's go to the client script, the one in starter player script. Okay, make sure. Do the same thing, change the Danielle Gamer one to your Roblox username. Okay, let's test now. By the way, the video is not finished yet. I will even show y'all how to change and add events, so make sure to stay. As you can see, there is these random events, which I added before, and I will show y'all how to add. As you can, it works, but there is no sound. Okay, let's say we want to change the objects that falls. To change it, we first need to open event meshes in replicated storage and get whatever event object you want and put it in workspace. This is the skybox for the events, basically. You can get a decal and change them for each event. For example, let's say I want my sky to be taco when the taco event started. First, go the image you want, then copy-paste them into the taco skybox. You have to paste them in all. Also, I want to add a sound for the taco event. First, I will go find the sound, then paste the ID to taco sound. Right. 
Right. Click it and click Copy Asset ID. Okay, let's test the taco event. Let's see if it works. Okay, now I don't like the objects that falls for the event taco, so let's change it. As you can see, this is the default object that falls for taco event. So we don't want this, we want to change it. To do that, we first need to get a mesh part, then drag it in and change the name to taco mesh. By the way, the name have to exactly same. Then drag the new one into the event meshes. And delete the old one. Okay, now let's say we want to change the object. So now I want the object to go throw the ground. To do that, you have to make can collide false for the taco event. Also, you can change the spawn area. And also, the center is height of the object that will fall. You can also remove the sound by removing the sound ID. And if you change this number, it's basically the speed of the object. It's so fast that I can't see it. Let's make it slower a bit. Also, the lifetime means after that seconds, the object disappears. And if you change these number, you can change it so it doesn't come down straight. Spawn rate means how much it spawns. Okay, let's say that is enough for the taco event. So now we can change the other events like we want.
Same with these event, you can change the sound of the music. And also the skybox, you can change it. Okay, so now let's delete some of the events and teach y'all how to add events. Just remember the last event don't need to have comma for the last event. If you don't do that, the events will not work. Boom, now there is only six events. To add event, you have to go copy the taco event like I did. Now press Ctrl V and remove the last comma. You can also change the event name and like I did, Okay guys, that is it for today. Video guys, this really took me a while, so like a support, you can like it and subscribe and share it to your friends and join my Discord if you needed any help. Ask in general. Also, I will still have the video. You can watch it and do whatever I did. Thanks for watching.